I'm Peter from Field Archer and Cut and today I'm going to be looking at a set of Balder CV, CV9H carbon limbs. These are 29 longs, 29 on a 70 inch bow. These are a super curve, apparently their hex limbs are the next, uh, the, the top of the range. These are the ones just underneath that, these are just under the top of the range. I've got them on a, I don't know what it is, it's a Spanish riser apparently. Um, a 19 inch phenolic riser remember the weight of it it's it's a very very heavy mass bow um, riser uh, and I've got a Dacron string because I put a fast flight string on there and I couldn't get this to tune I, I mucked around with a brace height I mucked around with a um, knock point and I just couldn't it, it couldn't get it. but I put a Dacron string on there and it's it's okay um, so I've got this set up for three under um, the brace height for the CV 9 H's is between six and a half and um, that's what I'm between six and a half and seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter. Oh, beautifully made carbon. This is their proprietary weave, apparently, with the action wood core. Um, so I said these are 29s, 29 longs on the 70. So I'm going to measure the draw weight at 28. Uh, oh, first of all, check brace height. And I've got this, yeah, it, it, it's, you can just see that there, it's six and a half. It's about 30 seconds over six and a half. Poundage, there's my, that way, see that, that's a 28. So I don't want to touch the slider. But we'll just watch these limbs unfurl. It is very, 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 very smooth. Smooth. And well, it's gone up to 30 pounds from 29. Draw it out one more time. <clears throat> I know it's only a 30 pound set of limbs, but it's a very, very smooth set of 30 pound limbs. Hopefully that will show up. Minimum arrow weight for the longs is a 28 inch draw, it's 225 grains. Uh, the lightest one I've got is 234 grains, but it's only a 27 inch arrow, so I'll be pulling in about 26 and a half, which means I think on their drop down table um, you can shoot 215 grains total weight. So I'm nowhere near the, 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 the minimums. Um, but as always, I'm starting off with a heavyweight arrow. This is... Oh yeah, so, right, so this is, let's say, 19 inch riser. So with a set of longs, should come up at, um, 64? 62. Oh, 17, 62, 19, yeah, 64. Uh, this string is for a 66 inch bow. Because of the super gun, that's you, you, you've got you just need that extra. So it's technically a 64 inch bow, but you need a 66 inch string. String you need a string for a 66 inch bow for the 64 inch bow, right? So starting with the heavy stuff 250 spine <sighs> off the top of my head, 350, oh, no, 315 grain pole, 150 grain insert, total weight of 765. And this is a 28 inch shaft, so I've got to pull all the way up to there. Uh, um, and 127 feet per second. You couldn't hear a thing. Uh, slightly 
stiff, strangely enough, 765 grain, 250 spine hour, but 127 feet per second with a 30 pound bow. Next up, uh, another 250 spine, uh, 250 grain pole, 100 grain, so that's a 350 up front, total weight of 648 grains. is 136 feet per second again no noise there is a bit of vibration if you go onto the borders website they explain how to micro tune to get that out um, I couldn't do it <laughs> right but I know lots of people that do and they manage it right 340 spine third hour so 340 that last one was 100 36 feet per second. This one is a 340 spine, uh, 250 pole, 150 grain insert, so 400 up front, uh, 200 grain. I can't, I can't remember what the pile is, I will put it in the description because I've got it written down. And um, total weight of 606 grains. That's the important thing. At 139 feet per second. Another 340 spine. Again, I'll put whatever the combo is. Total weight 557 grains. Uh, 146 feet per second. 30 pound bow. 400 spine. Uh, actually, you know what this is. This is 200 grain pile, 150 grain inches, so 350 up front. Total weight of yeah, 595. Just under 60. Again, this is 30 pound, 30 pound bow, <coughs> just under 20 grains per pound. And 138 feet. Yeah, 138 feet per second. I'm going to move those arrows out because I'm smacking the hell out of them. Another 400 spine. Total weight of 528 grains. And 150 feet per second. Yeah, knocking point really needs to work in a bit more. But there you go. Uh, 528 grains, 150 feet per second with a 30 pound bow. Um, 150 grain insert, 175 grain pile, total weight of 540 grains, and 146 feet per second, that was a very good shot, 146 feet per second. Another 500 spine, 100 grain insert, 175 uh, pile, so 275. It could be 171 actually. I'll, I've got it written down on there and I'll put it in the description. But total weight is, I'll just check this, but total weight. Total weight is, the last one was 540, this is 493. Yes. Back up to 150 feet per second. Right. 500 spine. Uh, looks like a 125, it could be a 150, but it's a standard insert. But total weight is 
362 grains. Remember, this is a Dacon string as well. And 168 feet per second. Going to move those out of the way. So, 362 grain arrow out of a 30 pound bow doing 168 feet per second. Two speed merchants to last. 600 spine, uh, victory VAP uh, 166. This is uh, 254 grains total weight. Excuse me. So last one was 168. Okay, 30 pound bow. Well, I personally wouldn't shoot 600 spine out with 30 pound bow, but they do advocate at Border that you shoot heavier spine and heavier arrows out of their limbs. Bows, limbs, whatever. And 181 feet per second. Aim, sniff, which is not surprising. Uh, so it's a 254 grain arrow, 181 feet per second with a 30 pound bow. Now, this is light, it's, two, three, it's an 800 spine 234. 234 grain total weight. Well, it's only a 27 inch shaft, so I'll be pulling to the edge. So I'll be pulling 25 and a half, 26. Uh, which, if you go onto their chart, means I can't, I can shoot at 20. I think I can shoot at like a 205 grain or 195 grain hour. Um, but I, 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 don't, I definitely remember if I'm if I get if on the 28, the drop down box leads you to 225. They do recommend. They give you the recommendations of the, your minimum marrow weight, but then in a separate post, they recommend that you go 10% over that. Why they don't include that in their drop-down box in their recommendations, I don't know. Because there's two sets of information there. I, 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 I don't know where it's down to war. I don't know. Um, anyway, 234 grain arrow, but it's a 27 inch shaft, so I will, I will be putting, say, 26, 26 and a half inches. And 183 feet per second. Right, so that's, that, that is um, the Border CB9Hs, uh, 29 longs on a 19 inch. And all I know about this is it's a, it's a Spanish riser. Um, I have seen other people on the circuit that have got it, and I'm pretty sure they said it was an S and H, but I, there's no maker's mark on there. Um, but I've seen a few people with, with this bow, and I have to say it's a stunning riser. Uh, but. And I got that from St George's Bows in the States, who who have taken over from. Look at that! Oh, sorry, this is about. Because this is, this is their proprietary weave, and their and say this. I mean, that is one hell of a curve limb. Anyway, so that is the Border CB9Hs, 29 longs from Field Archery Uncut.